Morning folks, in the truck Davy out the truck and at home in his office in Salisbury, North Lanarkshire, where it's overcast, no bad, about 11 degrees. That's the weather forecast for Salisbury, North Lanarkshire. You want to know what weather's like where you are? Look out your own bloody window. Okay. As it says in the description to the video, tomorrow decides the direction of the movement. And that's the independence movement here in Scotland. Pro-independence supporters have a choice to make. They can split the vote and vote for Alba or the Greens. Or they can move us forward to a plebiscite election, hopefully. I did say putting splits in this movement would be dangerous, and it has been. So this is sort of an appeal to independent supporters to think carefully before they hit that ballot box tomorrow. If you want to go forward in the movement and progress to that plebiscite election, voting Labour's not going to do that. Voting Alpha's not going to do that. That's just going to split the vote. Voting Green's not going to do that. That's going to split the vote. The only way to move this movement forward is to vote SNP. Now we know that 40% of Labour supporters here in Scotland want independence as well. Well, newsflash Labour voters here in Scotland, the only way to do that is to hold your nose and put your cross in the SNP box. As to other members of the movement, those who are now, now affiliated with the Greens, or the Alpha Party, you'll get some serious thinking to do. How you people vote will decide the direction of this movement. Will it be set back a decade? Or will it move forward to the next phase? And that would be that plebiscite election. One of the things that our politicians and the people in Westminster have to realise is the people of Scotland are sovereign. And we want or say we're going to have it. And tomorrow's a day when we can have our say. A very important day that would decide the destiny of the movement and the destiny of our country. So this is sort of a political broadcast on behalf of the SNP and an appeal to the independence movement. If you want to move forward and onto that plebiscite election, put your cross in the SNP box. It's as simple as that. Now, in 24 hours time, the destination and the destiny of this movement will be set. So, as I say, this broadcast is a broad appeal to independent supporters to put your cross in the SNP box. Simple as that. If you want to hold on to all the advances we've made under the SNP and under the Holyrood Parliament, if you want to move on to another vote, on independence, put your ball, put your cross in the SNP box. Something as like that. So, as I say, this is a flat direct appeal to independent supporters. If you want to move forward and you want the movement to move forward, put your cross in the SNP box. Thanks for joining us for this shot. If you're on YouTube, hit the like button, please. Hit the subscribe button. And whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, please share this message around. We have got 24 hours to convince all the independent supporters to put their cross in the correct box. And that would be the SNP box. If all the pro-independent supporters in Scotland put their cross in the SNP box. We'll have a 
whopping majority. The Scottish cohort heading to Westminster. And the more of them there are, the better it will be for our people.